Okay, um, I'm making another video today. My hair looks like a hot mess, really. It actually was like really curly, but it looked better yesterday, but I think I slept on, actually no, I'm just a heavy sleeper, so. My little rag that I put on my head it always come off in the morning, so then my hair be looking jacked up, but that's not the point. Um, I'm making a video today. I'm probably gonna make more videos more consistently, because I got a couple of um, ideas about what I wanna make a video about, videos about, and today I'm making a video about stains. Um, I actually did a blog post about this like two weeks ago or whatever, and it was about it was just about stains, but it was that would happen. Oh, look at my new phone I'm in my case. But anyway, that's not the point. Uh, how do I stop this thing? Anyway, I had made the post and it was led with. Monica and Sierra because I felt like they were the best way that I can get the story across and I always saw it with them too and This video is just about stains just in general. I personally am not a stain and I don't like stains because I just feel like when you're a stain You're open to be delusional. You're open to be argumentative. You're open to be ignorant like all that other stuff I've never considered myself a stain for the longest period of time uh, up until when YouTube first started, then I was a stain around that period, like for a year or two, because I would go off on people arguing on videos and stuff like that. Now, I still defend my favorite artists every once in a while and then, but it's even the way I go about it is way different than I used to. I used to just like go off <laughs> on YouTube when I first had YouTube, but now it's more like mature, it's more, more so stated in facts than just like you a dumbass bitch or something like that. So, and it's just like. The stuff that people say is like so stupid. Like I just don't understand like all the stains. I'm just dumb. It's just why I don't have my other Twitter, whatever. My third Dave, the one I don't. I'm very inactive on there because everybody's always staining for something, and it's just like this dumbass stain battles and shade and obsessiveness or whatever. Like I love my favorite artists. Don't get me wrong, because I am obsessive over Christina Aguilera, which is a wonder that I don't even have a video about her on YouTube or whatever, because my blog on Tumblr is like filled with it. Um. But there's still David behind all of my love for music and entertainment. Like, if you spoke to me on an everyday basis or whatever like that, I probably would not once mention my favorite artist because that's just how I am. Like, I'm a person outside of all of the music and love for entertainment. My blogs and my Twitter is just, that's like that part of me. It's not like I'm purposely putting it on there. Like, okay, I don't want to show this to my real life and stuff like that. But I just put it on there because it's just easier to rant about it. So, and it's just stupid. Like, I was on Twitter and one of my Twitter friends had, no. I had followed somebody on Twitter because... I have a new Twitter account. I don't tell this to a lot of people. Just because I'm not following you don't mean that I don't necessarily don't like you, whatever. I'm still on the fence about do I actually want to follow anybody. So, whatever. So, I was like, okay, I'm going to follow more people again. Like, you know, more people that like artists and stains. It's just not really stains, but just people that just more musically people, just like different facets of people. So, I decided to follow this Christina Aguilera fan that I saw that one of my friends was following. So, I go follow him. You know, everything's cool, whatever, like that. And then, because I had, like, looks. When I follow people, I actually look on their page and see, like, the things they tweeted. Because I want to know, like, am I about to get aggravated with you or not? So I have to, like, review your profile. So I'm like, okay, whatever. He seemed cool, whatever. So I follow him. And so, like, yesterday, I'm on my own business, blah, blah, blah. And then here's a retweet from one of his friends that's saying something like, it was talking about Sierra's countdown. And somebody said, you know, her countdown is only good for, like, a coupon at Chipotle or something like that. And it's just like, really? Like, really? Like, I don't understand when you don't like somebody, why do you spend so much time talking about them so much? Like, and when I don't not like anybody, I don't hate people, especially hate, you know, and I don't necessarily not like people. What I use when I don't, when I'm not too fine to somebody, I just don't particularly care about them. It's not I don't like them, I don't hate them, because I feel like if I hate you, for one, that means you have too much hold over me. And if I don't like you, it means I will have to, like, know you personally, or it have to be something deeper than that. And so it's just that I just don't particularly too much care for them. Like, I don't too much care for Nicki Minaj, I don't too much care for Rihanna, or whatever. And, you know, I have my views about them, or whatever, which, not trying to be funny, but <laughs> it's primarily the fact, it's the truth. But, and it's really just that, it's just like a matter of fact, it's not even me being like shady or whatever it is, but it is. And even with that, it's just like, you don't see me, like, if you look 
on my blog or my Twitter. You don't see me talking shit about them. Like, like whole rants for hours or, you know, multiple tweets or tweeting them or subtweeting them or whatever like that. Unless it's the truth. Like, if I say somebody's untalented and then Rihanna happens to be untalented and that's what you get from that, okay, then that's fine. That's whatever you want to assume. But I'm not, like talking about them all the time so it's just like why are you even worried about her countdown like last time i checked i thought the countdown was her fan so why are you even worried about her and her countdown like just dumb shit people do like follow artists just to shade them and talk shit about them or to tweet them negative tweets it's just like you need to sit the fuck down because if you have to sit up here and tweet them negative shit while they tweeting stuff for their fans and stuff like that you lame as fuck you don't got no life i don't give a fuck if you getting um six figures a year or whatever that's your income or whatever you don't have a fucking life i don't care if you have a whole bunch of friends y'all partying shit all the time you don't have a fucking life if you follow a fucking celebrity and you shade them all the time and you tweet them negative shit you don't have a life point blank period that's just what it is and it's just dumb as fuck it's like why are you worried about her countdown last time i checked like i said it's for her fans so like why are you worried about it you sitting up here trying to throw shade about her about some fucking chipotle like she's poor or she's just a flop or something like that but last time i checked sierra makes like what a hundred thousand times more than you were ever making in your life or what you make right now so how are you throwing shade at her it's like if you don't at least throw shade at somebody which nobody has a right really to throw shade at least be on the same level or close to the person you're throwing shade at but it's just like you're not so what are you really saying because on her worst day she's shitting on you on your best day so it's just like how are you throwing shade i mean it really just doesn't make any sense to me i mean if sierra didn't do anything in the music business then she would still be making money she hasn't had an album out for two years and she still has money why is that because she's multi-talented she writes music she produces she's a ceo of her own talent agency well last time i checked that was like a year or so ago whatever um if i'm not mistaken she's a muse for javinci and she's like a professional model or whatever and she just she does so much so it's just like she's gonna have money regardless even if she didn't do anything in the entertainment business let's just take all the entertainment business stuff away she's highly intelligent i'm pretty sure she could be like a lawyer or anything that she put her mind to because she's highly intelligent she's not dumb as fuck she got her high school you know diploma and everything so she's intelligent so it's just like just stuff like that see that's why i just don't i don't i don't mess with people like that because it's just just dumb shit or like the brandy and monica fight that shit is so lame it is so lame and it's just so funny because it's like how are you how is anybody throwing shade when first of all because the main point that they want to talk about is like after the 2000s or whatever after the 90s or whatever their careers have been pretty much um equal after the year 2000 like brandy had aphrodisiac and that wouldn't go. I mean, I don't really care about success, but just put out the facts real quick. Monica has Still Standing and it wouldn't go. Though, I believe that Monica's singles from Still Standing were, um, I think they charted better or whatever like that, you know? And it, she had, I don't think she had a more critical reception of her album was still standing um then monica's aphrodisiac because i don't really remember much about aphrodisiac in that period or whatever um brandy had full moon and that went platinum later on and then monica after storm and that went platinum later on you know Br monica had a dozen roses and that flopped and then brandy had human and that flopped so it's just like they're pretty much at the same thing. So I don't understand why people were throwing shade at each other, you know, throwing shade at Monica because her album didn't sell that much. And it's just like, okay, what? I don't get it. Like her and Brandy basically have the same success after the 90s. So where's the shade coming from? And it's like Brandy's album hasn't came out to measure her successfully. So where's the shade coming from? And then people say stuff like, her album is horrible or this, that, one, and other. And it's just, I just feel like it's stupid if you're going to judge somebody on who they are. If you know the person is a particular person, how do you judge them on who you already know who they are? Monica, for the last five years or so, has been mature, intelligent, um, a spiritual woman, very adult, or whatever like that. And so that's what the reflection of her album is going to be. She's married. She has kids. Obviously, that's what her album is going to be like. Her album's not going to be, okay, hey, let me pop my pussy. Okay, hey, you know, let me gyrate, you know, my vagina all on the dance floor, you know, stuff like that, like pop, lock, and drop it. She's not going to do that because she's a mother. She has kids and she's married. So it's just like, 
I mean, what? How are you really reviewing her album and saying it's shitty because she's an adult? Like I was just talking to my friend about that, and I was telling her that's what a lot of people views of her album was. Name like that's dumb. That's what she said is dumb, and it is dumb because it's just like that's who she is. I mean, we knew that she was gonna make an album like that, so <laughs> why is there so many amounts of shade thrown at Monica because she made an adult contemporary R and B album? I don't get it. And it's like, if you actually listen to the album, if you actually is open-minded and not trying to be shady and be just evil or whatever like that, you would see that the album is an amazing album. She has a lot of singles on the album. She has Man Who Has Everything. She has um, Cry. She has Without You, which is a single now. She has Time to Move On. She has Big Mistake. It's probably some other ones, but those are the main ones that I remember just right off the top of my head or whatever. And it's just like, it's not how you start. It's about how you finish because Bruno Mars' album came out. It did 44K and now it's double platinum. It's all about how you promote it afterwards, like the longevity of how you want your record to do. Lady Gaga's album came out. Her uh, debut album did, what, 24K and like now it's like eight times platinum or something like that. So it's really, even though those are like primarily pop artists or whatever, it's really about how you promote your album and it's really about the length after the beginning of the album that makes it successful or not. And even if it doesn't do all that, the point of the matter is she made a great piece of work. That's all that matters. It's going to touch people. That's really all that matters. So I just don't understand like all the shade. I just feel like it's stupid. Brandy is talented. Monica is talented. Monica would never be Brandy and Brandy would never be Monica. Where is the shade coming from? Like, I don't understand. It's just dumb as fuck. So I just feel like people just need to respect their favorite artists and worry about them. Like spend all your time, spend all that time that you talk shit about other artists that you don't give a fuck about and spend that time supporting your favorite artists. It's like, don't sit up there and be so into shading other artists. But then when your favorite artist has all of this stuff, I'm not even talking about flopping, but has all this stuff, you know, not a one, or whatever like that, then you don't have the right to say anything. Are you requesting your favorite artist's single, you know, on the radio all the time? Are you purchasing your favorite artist's, you know, single? Like, are you doing your job as a fan for them? Like, don't worry about everybody else's favorite artist and who you don't like. Worry about people that you actually do like. It's just like you having a fucking party. You having a party and then somebody comes to your party that clearly don't like you and they're going to sit there and crash and talk shit like the whole time. It's like, why the fuck would you come to my party and you already don't like me, bitch? Is your life that lame that you're going to come to my shit and hate? That's exactly what like a lot of things do. You're going to go to somebody else's forum, or another artist's space, and you're going to talk shit about them or throw shade at them or throw shade to their fans or whatever when you already don't like them. It's like, why even spend your time waste it on them talking shit about them when you don't care like what's the point you know it's like you won't see me on a rihanna video like this bitch can't sing or this that one on the other i don't give a fuck i'm not about to go on her videos to watch her performances nor am i about to comment on them dislike them i'm not i don't care it's not that serious to me you know my friend lyric lyric is a big rihanna stan i don't give a fuck what he say fan he's a stan and me and him talk on the phone all the time. We talk, you know, he, he, we, we, the point is we communicate with, with, with each other a lot. And I don't have any problem with him and he don't have any problem with me because we respect each other. I don't have to sit up here and throw shade at Rihanna every fucking minute or talk shit about her all the time. I even like say good things about her because it's not that fucking serious. And it's just like people need to like grow up. That's why I just really don't be bothered with a lot of people because people, it's one thing to have love for your favorite artist. It's another thing that when you don't like somebody else, you find the need to be negative to them like all the time. You know, it's not that serious. If you don't like an artist, you don't like them, fine. You have your little opinions about them. You have what you believe is matter of fact or is matter of fact. That's fine. But there's no need for you to bash somebody because they're not your personal preference. Like, that's just stupid to me. It just really is. And I'm going to cut this video off. It was some more stuff I wanted to say, but I was just doing it off the top of my head. So it's always the way I do my videos or whatever like that. So if there's some other things to say, I'm going to make a part two. But it pretty much sums up what I wanted to say for this particular video. It's just like focus on who you like and stop worrying about so much about the negative stuff and worry about the positive stuff. People stop hating on people all the time and stop with all the negativity and all the bullshit. The world wouldn't be as fucked up as it is nowadays, but people just don't give a fuck and they want to just only worry about, you know, the drama and the bullshit or whatever. And that's why life is so fucked up now. So that's pretty much it. Peace.